When tablets first began to come out, a lot of people predicted that we were moving into a post-traditional PC age, but that prediction was flat out wrong. Hey YouTube, how's it going? My name's Jonathan, and in this video, I'm counting down the very best desktop PCs you can get in 2018. So before I begin this video, I want to get one thing out of the way. It's really hard to compare desktops because different machines are geared towards entirely different audiences. There are all-in-ones, workplace PCs, gaming desktops, budget rigs, and it's weird to choose between two machines that aren't really similar at all. With that said, in this video I chose desktops that, even though they might not be particularly similar, are outstanding in different ways. Don't pay too much attention to the ranking because in a lot of ways it's pretty arbitrary, and if I left off a computer you think is amazing, just let me know what it is in the comment section down below and I may do a sequel to this video in the future. But with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Coming in at 5th place is the MSI Trident 3, a PC about the same size as the Xbox One S, that is way more power than even the PS4 Pro. What's great about this PC is that you don't sacrifice much for the small size. The Trident 3 comes with a full-fledged desktop processor and graphics card, and even better, the Trident 3's straightforward layout makes it easy enough to replace most of the components, including the GPU, memory, storage drives, basically everything but the processor. When you're playing games on the Trident 3, it runs very silently without overheating, and you get solid gaming performance. To be honest, the only annoying thing about this machine is the power brick, which is way bigger than it should be for a PC of this size. Also, the fact that it's a non-upgradable 330 watt capacity PSU makes it difficult to overclock the Trident 3, but if you're willing to overlook that, this machine is definitely the console killer it's marketed as, and it's something you should definitely consider if you're looking for a good gaming machine. Now coming in at 4th place is the Microsoft Surface Studio. Apple's enjoyed a monopoly on high-end, all-in-one desktop design for a long time, years, maybe even decades, but that's getting less true all the time. The Surface Studio instantly gives off a premium look and feel for the moments it's taken out of the box, and that's really a whole lot to do with the display and the hinge. The massive 28-inch pixel-sense touchscreen has really slim bezels, a thin profile, and a 3-2 form factor, which means it's closer to a square than most large displays. Behind the screen is Microsoft's zero-gravity hinge, which allows you to leave the screen upright for for typical desktop use, set an angle for standing use, or lean it at a steep tilt for use as a virtual drafting table. The biggest problem with the Surface Studio is just that it's really expensive. Unless you're getting this for a very specific purpose, or you've a lot of money to invest into an all-in-one computer, the $2,999 starting price of this machine is pretty much disqualifying. You're not even getting that impressive spec for the price. For the starting configuration, you'll be getting an Intel Core i5 processor with 8GB of RAM, a 1TB hard drive with an integrated 64GB SSD, and NVIDIA GTX x 965 2GB GDDR5 graphics. But looking at raw power is the wrong way to evaluate this machine. Even this, if the Surface Studio now isn't going to be the go-to all-in-one for a lot of people, it proves that Microsoft knows what it's doing, and there's a good chance that the price will come down in the future. Now after talking about the Surface Studio, it only makes sense that I should highlight the Apple iMac as my number 3 choice. Even if you don't want to admit it, the iMac is the best all-in-one computer for the money, the Surface Studio costs 3 times as much as the iMac to start, and even though the 2017 Apple iMac doesn't feature a touchscreen or an adjustable stand, the option for a 4K P3 wide color display and a still good 7th generation CPU make the 21.5 inch iMac not only gorgeous, but just a really solid machine overall. It can handle dozens of Google Chrome tabs with ease, as well as photo editing and even some video editing, so with that said, the reason to get the iMac is the beautiful display, and if you're not going to spring for the 4K option, there are probably other computers that would better match your needs. Now number 2 in this video I'm giving to a surprising choice, the Intel Hades Canyon NUC. This is honestly a crazy futuristic machine, it's small enough to take pretty much anywhere, but it has enough graphical power to play just about any modern game and power VR headsets. Measuring just 8.7 by 5.6 by 1.5 inches, the Hades Canyon NUC is bigger than its predecessor, but that size is put to good use. This computer packs in 4 times as much graphical power as before, and includes all kinds of different ports, including 6 USB 3.0s, 2 HDMI ports, 3 USB-Cs, a headphone jack, and 2 Ethernet jacks. Inside the machine you've got room for 2 M.2 SSDs, 2 DDR4 RAM slots, and 2 SATA connections. The bad news is you don't get a whole lot with the box. Like all of Intel's other NUCs, you have to buy your own RAM, storage, and OS to get going, which is at least $500 more than the $1000 starting price. That is pretty expensive, and to be honest you could probably get a high-end gaming laptop for a similar price that could outperform this, but having said that, this will be able to handle just about any modern game you throw at it, and that is a really impressive feat for a machine that looks more like a set-top box than a regular desktop. 
Now coming in as my first place choice for the best desktop of 2018 is the Dell XPS Tower Special Edition. With the addition of Intel's new Coffee Lake processors, Dell's XPS Tower Special Edition is the best general purpose desktop around. It's got a compact, elegant design with room for expansion, 2666MHz memory that's a major step up from the previous 2133MHz RAM onboard previous versions, plenty of customizability with CPUs ranging from Intel Core i5 to i7 processors, and storage options going from a 256GB SSD to a 2TB hard drive with hybrid storage configurations also possible. The XPS Tower Special Edition is a surprisingly powerful computer. The new Intel processors give it almost double the CPU performance of previous versions, and it packs more than enough power to drive a virtual reality headset. If you're planning on gaming on this computer, you should be totally fine. You won't get cutting edge performance, but you'll be able to play games like Overwatch at a stable frame rate of at least 40 frames per second. Yes, there are other equally well equipped and smaller rigs out there, but the Dell XPS Tower Special Edition stands out with its premium build quality and toolless upgradability, and it's fairly fairly priced starting at $1,000. But with that said, that's pretty much it for this video, so let me know what your favourite desktop PC is of 2018 in the comment section down below, make sure to click the bell to get notified when I post new videos, and with that said, I will see you next time.